Hi, I'm John Patrick. I'm the best player in the casino. The best player in the country. I'm going to talk to you like you never heard of gambling before. You're going to pay attention and learn something, or you're not going to pay attention, you're going to be a dork when it comes to gambling. It's up to you. I'm in the casinos four days a week. I make my living gambling. I have a bankroll. I know how to play. I have money management. What do you bet when you win? What do you bet when you lose? And I have discipline. The ability and the guts to quit when I've won a certain amount. I have all of those things. You know what my chances of winning is? 50-50. 50-50. And I'm the best player in the casino. You ever seen any dorks come to this, uh, 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 bad players come to the table? The toughest part about it is they don't quit. You know, Rhonda, they, they don't have the guts or the brains to quit. You gamble out of need. Need. You need excitement. You need entertainment. You need the aura of the casino. When you walk into, into that casino and you see these slot machines, you wet your pants getting up to that machine because you can't wait to play. You're so excited. And I'm going to take for granted that you don't know nothing. And based on the people I meet in the street, you don't know nothing about the games you play. I'm going to teach you. Most of all, I'm going to teach you how to win, how to cut losses. Now, the four things you need when you play are bankroll, knowledge of the game, money management, and discipline. That's called the big four. Bankroll, knowledge, money management, discipline. You're going to forget it, so talk. Bankroll, knowledge, money management, and discipline. That's the four things we talked about. Bankroll is the first thing. How much money do you bring to the casino? Now, the amount of money you take to the casino is your bankroll. I don't give a rat's tail if it's $1,000, $2,000, $200, or $300. Whatever you bring to the casino is your bankroll. And every decision you base is based on that uh, bankroll. It, you can't say, gee, I get $300, I want to bet $100 a hand. But you can't do it. You got to logically bet within the confines of that first move of the bankroll. She's going to give us $100. She's gonna, I've got $100. That is my bankroll. Now, every decision I make that session is going to be based on that bankroll. Now, you know the four things I told you about you need. Bankroll, knowledge, money management, discipline. The next part of gambling at a table is called a little three. That's theory, logic, trends. They're not strong enough to be the, the, the uh, big four, but theory, logic, and trends have their own move at the table that's going to cut your losses down. Theory. A theory is an opinion. There are people who have different opinions as to how you gamble. My theory is very, very, very conservative. Very conservative. That is my theory. You want to follow it? Good. You don't want to follow it? I don't care. Go out and make your own tape. But that is my theory. I believe it's the only way to win at a casino. Logic. Every move we make at a table is based on a logical move. So you got theory, my opinion, logic, the right moves to make, and trends. If I were to take a coin out of my pocket and flip it, a hundred times, two hundred times, five hundred times. It's going to come out somewhere 50-50. But that's not the point I'm trying to make out. I'm trying to make. There are going to be trends. There might be six heads, five tails, three heads, fourteen heads. And you wonder, why is it coming that way? Because in gambling, trends dominate. Remember that. So when I put you at a table, I'm going to tell you when to sit down, when, how long to stay, and when to leave. And it's going to be based on trends. Theory, logic, trends. That's a little three. We'll get into that a little bit later because I don't want to fill your heads with too much, even though there isn't too much in there right now. So we'll take it by stages, okay? The main thing is I want to give you an idea of what you're up against when you gamble, no matter what game you play. Now we're down in what you people consider slot machine heaven. All these slot machines, like turning a little kid loose in a, in a candy store. I could turn some of you people loose with slot machine. I play slots. And you play slots. Everybody plays the slot machines. You could write a book and fill about one page of all the people you know, people who don't play slot machines. Let's put some garbage out of your head right from the beginning. They do not fix slot machines. They're not gaffed. You know this, this garbage that people say that these machines are fixed, that the casinos uh, uh, can set it to a certain stop? They can. They can't do anything of the kind. All you know is pull the handle. And you get mad because you don't win every single solitary pull. Do you ever hear the word random, random? You just walk up to a machine and start banging in the, the coins. Do you, do you know how many snakes are walking around that casino? Walk up and find a dork like you sitting at a machine? You leave. They go around and press this button, and they cash in on your money. Just think how many times you left the machine. Look, you're turning, looking at your wife now, screaming at her because she probably did it. You probably did it yourself. It's money management and discipline, which most of you dorks don't have. You have no idea of when you're going to leave a, a machine. 
If I played them, why should I tell you not to play them? I couldn't stop you from playing the slots anyway. Yeah. I don't give a rest here what, what size uh, machine you play at, what size coin you put in. But no, you're so fast. You can't wait to bang these, these machines in. You're, uh, these are coins in. You're banging in the machines and pulling the handle. You don't even look. I think that's a sick person that has to play like that. You talk about compulsive gamblers, you people are just as compulsive. One of your bigger dorks, because you don't have to play like that. I'm trying to show you the right way to play. It's money management and discipline, which most of you dorks don't have. One, two, three, four, five, increasing your bet with the idea you're due to win. You ain't due to win. That's a stupid, silly way to play. Learn how to win. It's what separates the winners from the losers. Slot machines, you're gonna play. You're gonna play them from now until the end of time. It doesn't matter. Give it a pop, okay? Video poker. I want you to catch this right off the bat. Video poker is different than any other game you're going to play. And you experts that think because you play poker, you're going to be able to play video poker, get it out of your head. Video poker is 100% different. The difference is going to be in the moves you're going to make, not against another player at the table. You know, you're used to playing against other players. You're not. You're playing against a machine now. Vigorous is the amount of edge that the house has. Now, there's going to be machines that you're going to find in Atlantic City where the vigorous against is only 6%. Out in Vegas, 2%, 1%, 1% big. There's four things you need when you gamble. Bankroll, knowledge, money management, and discipline. Bankroll, knowledge, money management, discipline. Bankroll is the amount of money you take to the table. You set two things when you walk up to that table. You set a win goal and you set a loss limit. The win goal is the amount of money you want to win based on the amount of money you take to the table. Now some dork will walk up to the table with $50 and say I want to win $500. He's a dork. Another guy will walk in with $500 and say I want to win $50. That's smart. He's looking for a small percentage return on the amount of his, on, on the amount of his money. So bankroll is the amount of money you personally take to that table. Knowledge of the game. That's memorizing the basic strategy chart. You know what exactly what you're going to do every single solitary time you're dealt two cards. Are you going to hit, stand, split, or double? That's basic strategy. You've got to know what basic strategy is. The next one is money management. What do you bet when you win? What do you bet when you lose? But money management, that's the third part of the big four. And the last one is discipline. Discipline is a key. You want to come to a beautiful casino like this. You want to come back over and over again. But if you lack the discipline of going to a casino and leaving with a profit, or at least cutting your losses down that on the days that things aren't going so good, the amount of your loss is not going to kill you. You're going to come back here again. You take your best lady down here, you take your husband down, you take the kids where, if, if it's in Vegas, and you come into a place like this here with your restaurants and your shows and your, and your ability to play at a low minimum table. But if you blow your money every time you walk into a casino with lack of discipline, you're going to get killed. That's why discipline is so important. The bankroll, knowledge, money management, and discipline is your big four. You need that. I have it all. I got it all. I have the money. I got the knowledge. I got the money management. I got the discipline. I'm the best player in the casino. And my chances of winning is only 50-50. What chances are yours if you don't have all of the big four? There's three more things you should have. Theory, logic, trends. You know what theory, logic, and trends is? There's three other things that might help when you're playing the game. It might help if you pay attention to them. Theory is opinion. My opinion is a very basic, conservative way of playing. It gets you back in the casino over and over and over again. Logic. Logic is doing the right thing, the smart thing, because it's a logical thing. For instance, if you are dealt a 13 against a dealer's 10, it's logical, it's logical to hit rather than stand. And the last one is trend. You're looking for trends. And when you get those trends, you bang in the money. You're gonna play it, pay attention. Happy winnings.